of late, right? Movistar used to play a fair chunk of it before the most recent changes extended the bomb sites, and then they've had a couple of tricky maps on it since. Uh, meanwhile, VP obviously struggled on the map before, but now they've had a lot more time to work into their roster, and they've been looking better and better as time's gone on. So uh, this one, this one could be a little bit fun here, folks. We're going to see some changes, I think, from both sides. Or we might see some interesting looks in particular from VP since they've been workshopping this and obviously haven't revealed it since the player break. Yeah, well, let's see what they've worked on. For you, Kindar, there'll be a bit of information early on. Spots out at least the noise, and now he'll get the information, the flash. It is excellent. Flit enables him to find two, and Yakinder, it just keeps it going. Not the fourth. Could have been an opportunity for the ace, but James does deny that one. It is a flawless round off the rip out of Virtus Pro. You know how important that control is over towards Jaguar for the CTs, and, well, it was locked down. Just shut down. Yakinder is obviously a guy you're going to be looking at to be just the star here. Such an incredible player. Uh, such an absolute light out player, and he's just getting better. He's still so young, still so fresh. Every event feels like he increases in power. We he's just slowly, season. slowly increasing, slowly building. The power level continues to tick on up. Is uh, oh no. Thoughts? 59, Can they get anything done? Money. Doesn't feel like it. Pickert onto the USP does just as well. 4 3, son. He'll at least recover, but Flit has been running his way through the map. He has been hoofing it onto this flank and staying alive is the bomb trying to bait in. Is it enough? No! Alex misses out on the shot, so some money earned. Every kill wrap. coming in with the SMG, which oh, they yeah. had four of them, to be fair. You kind of expect most kills to come with them. But that is some cash money banked away for a rainy day. Virtus Pro going to be setting up a little bit of a bonus round. They've got the AWP, though, on Mr. James. Big gun out, and actually, no, they're just keeping the one SMG, keeping it on Yekandar as well, who's playing cave. So, a pretty prime angle to work with a rapid fire gun. Early deep utility, want to establish some control here in towards mid, flit to do it. And that nade is chunky, Mopaz actually takes that damage towards the B side of the map, but they're chasing it with further. How did that nade mid do no damage? Yeah, it felt like you should have gotten a little more in that one. Minimap lied to me. Yeah. One well, X bet odds looking very one-sided towards the boys on VP. Maybe not too many surprises there, but still. I have a little bit of faith in this most our roster, our riders roster. Maybe not so much on this map, but I can see him making things into the playoffs. I mean, I have very much faith in Virtus Pro to squeeze as many rounds out of this best of one as they They're paid by the round, of course. Paid by the round. Yeah, that's how, that's how they do it. They like to play long games. They really do. They may lose to the battle, but they win the war. That they do. This is a good space, though, found early on for Movistar. Still just under a minute on that clock. Do they want to set up for an A split? It's a possibility. Kicker, though. He's still in close. Molly doesn't find him at all, so he'll just swing. Bombs on the floor. Is he aware of Alex? Uh -oh. Not quite. Now he spots it. Awkward and flit on the reswing. Finds the trade. So, 4v3. Damage was done onto Yekindar. But James still here. They haven't seen the op yet. They have no idea about this op's position or they even know about its existence. Unsure. Either way, it doesn't matter because it's the rifles striking Daviji. Now alone. 1v4. Bomb not in his possession. $50. Nice kill there. I do want to mention that for, for Kicker, in his defense, it looks a little silly when he goes around the corner with an 8 out. But getting that Molotov down and then Flit getting the trade kill actually gives Flit so much more comfort that no other player is chasing in there. So can go back and support A. It actually winds up working out pretty darn well for them. That's going to be the round for VP. Davi G just forced to save the gun, and that's going to put him in an awkward spot where he can't be consistent with his teammates' money. No sense throwing that away for sure. But, what are they going to do now? You invest in around it? Is he just going to deal with the SMG when they do get towards the guns? There's a choice to be made. And early on, Virtus Pro are looking like the unassailable defensive team that we expect them to be here on Ancient. Early results, encouraging, if you're a VP fan. Encouraging indeed. Said the Movistar Riders, they will buy up the Deeks around the saved AK to try and get a little bit more done. But Flit... He's buying a lot of space here. Aggressive down mid. Smoke goes deep. He can just hold on to this space. And you see, Ikendar is doing the same. I love when CT sides do this. The aggro smokes hold them back, claim so much space away. Sure, there's a risk factor to it, but 
And the Movie Star Rider's even aware. James Dalt has not fired just yet. It's only a tag. It swings there. It's a double. He cannot re tucks. Jay Marie swings. So well oiled on the VP side. What a nightmare duo to deal with. Jay on the op. Yekandar on the Yekandar. Doesn't matter what he has. It's going to be at his. He's 6-0 to this point. Buster, Jame, and Yekandar all have yet to die. The B players holding strong so far. And it's just going to keep going in this round, right? You don't imagine Alex is going to be able to find much of anything here. If he could crack a head, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. You'd like some sort of economic damage out of this round, but I think a bomb plant is a pipe dream. Alex? We'll creep around the corner. Just going to try and eliminate some positions here. Use what utility he does have to try and give an advantage. But there's going to be the punish. It's a flawless round for Virtus Pro. That bank building early on. No problem here against the pistols. And now we will have the gun round with the aforementioned slight issue of WG's lack of money. It's a bit of a problem. But you get the op out for Sun. Shutting down Jame is such a big factor to winning against his VP squad and on a heavily CC-sided map that gives a lot of freedom, a lot of angles to Jame. Killing that IGL is an even bigger task. He'll go out towards mid this time. Is it that same aggression from Flint? No, the Molly keeps them in bay for now. Free smoke back up. So, some good space found for the Movie Star Riders, but they don't know it yet, and they might not even have it, because notice Flit, he's playing around these smokes in mid. He's trying to locate a gap, and he's found one. It is going to back away for now. They're going to clear out towards mid. The double nade in should indicate that there's potentially heavy presence here, and they're wary of it. But Movistar really wants the space, and they're getting it. They're gaining it. Flip push back in towards the red room. It means that they are going to have a vision path towards Donut, and they've abandoned A. Virtus Pro opting for a little bit of a stack, opting to emphasize this mid fight. This could get awkward. There's the flash. And it does find a kill. Alex dropped. Well, we start do not realize how much space they have towards A. They haven't no. tested it. Just now, Das is working his way in there, but I don't know if he's going to find enough information in time to help out his teammates. But the thing is, in conceding that space, they look at the positioning on B. It's aggressive. Yukindar is holding close in Jaguar. So if Movistar want to re-hit this towards the B site, that's where issues start to crop up. Bomb is still back in spawn. No commitment has even been made just yet, and Yukindar is still unknown. This time, it is becoming a dangerous issue. They might just have to hit B at this point, and it all relies on killing Yukindar, which they just can't do. One frag, where's the trade, son? Hop on the line, will be able to connect, but that spot rotations, that spot time, and now Jame is here, scoped up on the line, jump across. He does not break. He does not fall under pressure, and he will fall away now, but 17 seconds. Do you even go for this? Look at the flank. It's coming through. Kicker won't allow it if the save is to be called. He hears this. Oh, boss. Repo shot misses. That was a critical turn. And it turns into the favor of VP. Giving a new meaning to Jame time. Jame forcing them to take it. <laughs> They're backing away to save for the second time on their attacking half. Really, once again, putting them in an awkward spot. Movistar. I mean, the thing is, right, it's ancient. We expect dominant defenses. We expect really strong sides. And yes, Movistar are the underdogs here. So this is still very early days. They could write it the ship. Is. It's the manner in which they're losing these rounds, right? They're not finding footholds on site. They're not finding any map control. They're not losing most of these in the retake. They're losing them in the initial take. They're getting vaporized before they can really gain any space. Look at you, Kindar. 147 ADR right now. Be good. This guy is, is mental. And the amount that VP puts into enable him on this map especially shows through. That duo of Jame. And Yukindar just works wonders on the aggression. Such a potent factor for a CT side here on Ancient. And VP, well, they're putting on a class. That they are. I mean, there's still two players who haven't died. Yeah. Still just fought around it. What's the investment, though? I feel like I keep having to throw in that asterisk. Everyone knows. Everyone knows. Everyone knows. But the information is there. But let's talk about the buy a little bit. They've okay. put money onto Mopaws. Couple digs to work with. I, I mean, this is potent. I wonder if they're going to try and hit something over towards A. But the thing is, A has been weak this whole game, but they've yet to really test that whatsoever. It's been such a focus on mid and, and towards kind of contesting the space in Jaguar that still, what we saw is unaware. Flit, he's just running around in mid. The amount of space his team has is massive. Look at the read. Look at the read off of this. They've oh, got three they players here for A. They know. They just haven't seen the mid presence, and so they're they're reading a lot yeah. off of that because they don't have the aggression on towards B here either. But the utils tipped them off. Now they've got the smoke in towards Red Room. That Molly will make life difficult for Yekandar, but not very. And they're still pretty committed. Minute 15 on the clock. And James oh, here? Go out. Oh, James Red. 
Up in hand, he hits it. Reposition, the adjustment nearly there. It only gives an opportunity for Kicker to hit his shot. So, in mid, now the pressure is applied. Someone has to repush through. Someone has to shut down Yakinder. It's not happening. David, does he have a timing on this? He's trying to play forward. He's contested Jaguar, but now he's getting really nervous about a flank. Think someone from VP is going to re-clear back in towards his area of the map, but they won't. At least for now. Instead, cave secured. Here's the thing, even if they find this, there's so many potential threats waiting for Sun Peas and rotating around to try and get here. He's going all the way. And now the player's pushed in window and gone through Jaguar. Look at this from Yekendar. He's on the flank. Davi G has no idea. And he's done. Yeah, in this round, it's probably over off that, right? Because now notice where Buster's going to rotate. He can push deeper. He has supportive well. It's Jame here. And while Sun has a gun, he has absolutely no utility. You have to plant back pillar if you want safety. And you have to contest if you want a chance. He's done it. Buster is down. James, does he swing off this? No, plant was open. So it's good in the post. And only one position known. Sun Payas will push forward. Oh, they're giving him space. But they'll be fine for this reclear. James has utility. And Kekker has the shot. Down goes Sun. No chance for the clutch. Only one kill found. Bomb plant, that's good, but it's a 6-0 deficit. Is that their first bomb plant? I believe so. They didn't get the pistol. I, I no. think that's the After first that, one they down. Didn't. I mean, because it's just been, it, it, that shows a lot about the aggression that VP mm. has been pulling and the success with it. Mm. Every single round, they're pressuring Movistar deep in towards the spawn. It is oppressive. It is that. And they're moving around constantly as well, so it, you can't really find a feel for where these players are moving. They're shifting the aggression. They're shifting the stack, shifting the focus. Doing a beautiful job of it. Jame is now the lone Iron Man remaining. It's also an interesting thing to keep note of. How many times will he die? Aggression in towards mid. A lot of aggression, and they take two kills as a result. The nade finding one. Oh, it's not looking good. That double ops up now. Buster breaking out the secondary. And Movistar, 30 seconds into a round, have been vaporized once more. They've got nothing to show for it. They've got no control, no kills, not even damage done, and they're down to two. They already maybe are considering the save because you have that up up for Sun, right? Keeping that into the next, it feels great, but I, you want to see at least some damage done. Look at VP's economy. For a CT side, it is just massive. 9k behind kicker. James just the same flip pretty close to that. Everyone is in a fantastic standing for this squad. It, it is just going to be the save already. I, I see VP hunting this. I mean, why not? You got money flowing out all your pockets. You stuff full. $100 bills, every pocket. Just cash, money, for days. Swimming. But, I mean, there's still 40 seconds on this clock, right? So they're not eager to hunt just yet. No. There's a lot of time that we start could actually try something. But look at the position. Like, James is even fairly aggressive out towards A. He would have early warning if something is going on there. Mm. Buster as well. I, that's the power of the double op. And Yakindar even wants to push. He's going fast towards the lane. Door is being held. It's the op on the other side. So a risk here if Yakindar elects to venture alone. But there's no way they can win this round. It's certainly a risk worth taking. Uh, the got thing is, like, even if he dies, that gives away where the op is. Yeah. No one, I don't think, will be in range to actually hunt it down, but losing one doesn't really matter. They'll be conservative. Yeah. Ten kills through seven rounds. Not bad for Mr. Yekindar. Only his second death. Only his second death. So Movistar, another big investment coming through here. Building around those two saved guns. They've got something to work with. But we're starting to get to the point where we need a little bit of proof in the pudding. And the pudding has not been good so far. No proof, no plums, no nothing. What? I, I don't know if proof would taste good in a pudding. Oh, look at that nade damage early on. The util is... Oh, Yakindar's pushing. It. He's got the space. Yeah, He's got the space. They, they heard the flames, cave. but they're still not ready for it. And they're still not ready for Jame. Uh, the aggression is unstopping. It is consistent across the map. And now Flit has joined Yakindar. They have flashes. I mean, they could go through this if they want, or they can just hold. Nade forward. Mopaz Another might one. die for it. 26 oh. HP down to two. Limping. And none of it's confirmed. They know only about one player, and Yakindar, he's trying to bait. He falls away. They have no idea Flit's here. Do they check it? I don't even know if they will. 
or if they even want to push this, it's a minute on the clock. Some space has to be gained, and Movistar still has nothing. Look at the fear factor. Back towards spawn, that player is holding for the okay. flank, but Davey, he might have just alleviated it. Contends with Flit, but Busser's still here. He's reposted on this line, and he has a smoke to buy time. I'm interested now. Counter smoke in, he dodges the flash as well, so not going to be able to take the space just yet, and that's going to slow down the take. They want to do the split in towards B. They're not going to have that, and there's three players here, so because they've stalled out, Redis Pro have been able to bring the rotations in. They've got the numbers here now. There's the peek back in. So much damage. Deaths and Mopaws limping, and the nade will finish one. Oh, now, no. what can these three wounded players do coming in towards the site? Mm, Davey G, he can do a bit. He can do something. Takes down Buster, but it's good information for the beef VP side. They have two players posted ready on this site. Nikindar's up. It'll strike two. These remaining players so low on HP, but the bomb gets down. Second round, we've seen that. Someone has to get aggressive. Davey G wants to be the man, but he cannot hold. AWP again. Now just Sun in the clutch. Utility reigning in 37 HP. And it'll only take a few bullets. Chip them all the way down to zero. Double off, though, on the retake. Space bought the whiff. But the swing, Jame has those shots, and oh, the whiff almost feels indicative of the performance as a whole for this Movistar squad. It's one of the most successful rounds they've had. Yeah, and, and it hurts because consider, again, it, it was the same punch, it was the same aggressive, aggression out of VP, and, and while they fight back in a little bit more, we are seeing, what, how many rounds have we seen where they actually get mid-control? How many rounds have we seen where they get full space over towards Jaguar? It, it's just not happening. They're never forcing a player off a of caves. This was like the first round that's happened. Mm. Timeout could have come through here. The second one burned by Movistar as they really do need to figure out some sort of an antidote to what's going on here. The aggression has been punishing. The uh, shooting done been good for Virtus Pro and the map control as you've made clear. Something that Movistar have not really been able to find. It's not looking encouraging for the Spanish squad. So they'll figure out the accounting. They'll figure out how to get things done and they'll try and figure out how to get two of their players off of the big goose eggs here. They need to crack those, make some omelets here because they need every ounce of firepower they could possibly squeeze out of this roster to contend with Virtus Pro. And they need to kill James sometime. One day. That'd be pretty good. James, though, if there's one guy who avoids dying, it's him. He does. It's him. It's what he's good at. He is immortal. Special aura around that man. There will be utility in mid this time, so maybe... That space can finally get cleanly gathered. Look at the map. Yakindar is pushed. He's already deep in towards the lane. They've done this before, but no one is contesting. No one is ready. Movistar is still behind the smoke, back towards doors, and stuck behind the smokes in mid. Now, you wanted them to take some mid control. They did that for a moment. But Alex they've fallen off it for now. He gave it up. Yeah. He gave it up. Oh, that's a big kill on towards Yakindar. Good damage off the utility, and the Molotov burns one. So it is traded. There is an exchange there, but it does mean that a player is somewhat isolated. Buster will get forward, and they'll start the rotation, bringing Flit in to help and actually jam along with him. So once again, a good read from Virtus Pro, but Movistar, with plenty of time on the clock, now are working mid, and there's no one here to contest. They boosted up for it. If Flit comes back into this angle, uh, well, it was possible for a moment that they catch him, but they've given it up. Instead, they'll start to take the space. Mm. Buster, though. He'll talk close on this corner and he hears so much does this call for a rotation though one set of footsteps hedging its way towards a he has no idea that that's the bomb and he has no idea how many members of movistar are on this side of the map but look who's here it's kicker he's good to hold and he has a molly two flashes a nade plenty of utility on the stall and a rotation already underway movistar is showing this utility starts to rain on in from donut r3 the split from main will be delayed as flashes come forward Flit still smoked off. Kicker in the close corner. Mo pause clears it. And a good shot. They're not ready for the second in the bomb. It's denied time. on the ground now. Flit the time. You're right. 10 seconds. Still fighting. Rotates underway. And Jame. AWP posted on the line. Does he spot the shadow? Not yet. Does he spot the bomb carrier? Sure. But it's not a denial. And now it's doable. Sun, though, damaged. And one versus two. Up in hand. He connects the first shot. It'll only take one more. But the swing through. Buster denies it all. VP keep it flawless. 9-0. to zero. So close for Movistar on that one. So close. I mean, Lee, if Shame had just found a bit more of that angle earlier, might have even denied the bomb plant in that one. But they make it work. 
Unfortunate for Movistar that they can't convert, getting it over the line, getting the round win. Those are hard to come by. Come this close to a victory. A bomb down, a 1v2 clutch that wasn't. So for it is pro, defend their flawless streak. I think they may have even been lulled into a false sense of security on A. They've been leaving it very vacant, right? There have been so few rounds where the hits come through that maybe now they're going to have to respect that a bit more. And Movistar are counting on that because once again, they've taken some B control and this time they get the opening pick. Health isn't good, but they found the space and Yekindar will try and get back out. Did he spot the player jumping around? No, no. no. Jame though, post up with a pistol, ready for this one, Yakindar. Double spray down in the HP, it's gone. Three frats for this man, you cannot get into his sight if you're the Movistar Riders. Bombs back on the floor. Mopaz, he had a chance at the reclear, but doesn't find the shot. 17 HP, and Flit is primed, ready for the backstab, or if they run away, well, it's a sprint straight to their death. Mopaz down, Jame deals the final blow, double digits for VP. 15 kills through 10 rounds for this young man. 148 ADR. <sighs> Killing a it's half crazy a round. that he's maintained that. Killing a half a round. And this round especially, just massive. They didn't even spot the player, but the footsteps were heard late, and the adjustment there, it's perfection. Well, we start down to the eco now. Utility coming in early. It's not going to connect this time around. Those nades have been nightmarish as they try and get out of the B door. It certainly slowed them down quite a few rounds. They do have a fair amount of util to rain down onto the site to try and go in with the pistols, right? The way for the smoke to fade and then maybe just rain Molotovs in. Try and cover off as many positions as they can and pressure on. They're going to do that, but there's a player out by Wood tucked into the cubby and they're not prepared for that. Yekindar going to get two. He's been shifting his position so many times on this site and that flashbang is timed perfectly. Oh, Yekinthar once again pulls in another highlight to shut down a take to absolutely annihilate the Movistar Riders. In Mopaz alone, one frag. That's all he's found. And something tells me he's not about to get a second. Yekindar reaches 20. That's like, he, he almost has two kills around. This guy's ridiculous. Hey. It's a highlight machine. Didn't clear their corners, didn't check the cubby. It hadn't been played yet for Virtus Pro. And Yekindar finds the perfect moment to step on in. You want to say step up, right? Like, you feel like, hey, hey, step up. No. Well, he's not stepping up. He's, he's, up, just he's always, always up. He's always up. He's There's always no, up. No steps required. Like, they say sky's the limit. This guy feels higher than that. And he wants more. Push forward, Yekindar, yet again. Jame as well. The consistency for this guy, sure, they finally killed him, but it's only been once. Three players left. What? That's 15 seconds into the round that it's already gone this wrong. This was a buy. At least they finally killed James. It's happened. I'm not quite sure when it happened, but it's happened. Uh, killing James, one thing, getting around is another. He's mortal. He's mortal. So the next step is to get around. He's uh, maybe, maybe semi-mortal. Getting pretty damn close to it. Get Kurt. One, where's the trade for that? Flit a little too far away to do so. This is all being held on to. Game now posted. AWP. Mopaz gets one for free. Is VP flying too close to the sun? The re-aggression could have been an issue. In a 2v3, this is winnable. There's time, but it relies on killing Buster. But Buster spots out Mopaz and falls away. Re-smoke even. Insult to injury. Jane will rotate on over. Cray movement to get out of that too. Yeah. Knew there was always the risk of being run down. And he finds the timing. Just to give him the slip. They'll wait for the cave player to get in position and then try and execute here on towards B. But as you said, James could be close at hand. And Buster himself is no easy pickings. So here comes the move. Here comes the play. Can Sunpeus get this initial pick? Get mm. them the chance to get this bomb planted. Bombs in the cave. James can swing into this. They don't have a smoke to cover it off just yet. As soon as Buster finds contact, this could be bad. Flashbang just to slow him down. Molotov to push Buster out. Oh, he doesn't have the kill. Damage done. But can they get this player away from the pillar? That's the real question. Sunpeus has relocated in towards the cubby, in towards wood. James gone looking for him, but not found. And a shot. James connects it now, just one man. Sunpeus, he's healthy. No utility, though. And a flank coming through, he's unaware. Yakindar on the backstab, but isolated down to a single angle. 
And if Jame is killed, then a huge chance this timer. It's still going. Jame, though, he just doesn't miss. The op connects yet again. Backstab wasn't even necessitated. Set is just a defuse. 12 0. It's VP train. It's better hop on quick because it is picking up in pace. Icarus's wings won't melt this round. They are ridiculous. I mean, look, we expected this to be a strong map for Virtus Pro. We expected this to be a rough ride for the Movistar Riders. And uh, if you want to you wanna find every silver lining for Movistar, that CT side can just be oppressive. So if they can get going on their own side, who knows? Uh, you get these last couple of rounds, there's always a chance to bring it back. But it's pretty dire. These rounds have looked a little closer of late. Movistar seemed to have found some of the tendencies from Virtus Pro and been able to punish them. And let's see if Yakandar is going to get punished here. Utility out. Oh, he's down for free. Okay, so the monster that Virtus Pro keep is not going to be able to do any damage in this round. The thing is, they have a couple extra monsters. There's a few monsters. Chilling in the background. Four of them, the to be exact. if you will. Mm. Someone call mm. Michael Jordan. Hmm. All right, well, I'm not playing basketball. They're playing CS, but they do Pretty damn well. Flash forward. Kicker one. What's a second? Mo pause. Does not give it away, but in the meantime, Buster has found impact. Two to be exact. And shut this split down. Bomb is on the floor. And Mo pause's position already revealed. He smoked off. Look at the crossfires. They're well established. Buster to swing off his teammates. Contact. The spray won't find anything. So now from where we start, has to be a double back. Head towards main. Head towards that ramp. But an ambling up it. You might just be walking forward, heading towards your doom. It's flit. Yet again, now, one man, Mopaz. A mission. But a tough one. That aforementioned crossfire still in effect. Buster still unknown. The flash, it's disciplined. VP not over swinging this. And Mopaz creeping forward. Gives away his position. Where's the swing? Buster's still holding. That might give misinformation. That might make Mopaz think, hey, no one was here, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. Jame rotates on over. Puts an end to the tomfoolery. I just love the patience from Virtus Pro that they're like, even when we're up 12-0, we're still going to play so carefully that we're going to keep the ace up our sleeve. So far up our sleeve. And it doesn't get revealed in the first peak. Not even on the second. Just keep him there. Just to make sure there's no way that bomb's going down. Maids available. Some extras dropped in towards a spawn as well to have them on the retakes, if a retake is indeed necessary. And it seems like we're going to get some aggression towards the A side of the map. We haven't seen much of this. It's been a long time. Unfortunately for the Movistar, they have chosen the round where Chain has shifted the op over, and he's ready to catch the first. Uncontested, he's able to fall away, repost, and gain a new angle. Let's see if Alex can give us something. In mid, he stands in flit. We'll play in the smoke. Now walking forward, Jane. Be contested, the nade to find some damage shot missing. The support's here. Even when Jame is alone, he has support. Even when Jame is on an island, his teammates are there to back it up. In the rowboat, they'll swim on over, and it's Yakindar, a powerful man in these positions. Alex, he was ready for the angle, but not for the second. Reswing out from Donut, kickered on the shutdown. I mean, that adjustment is so quick to go from aiding Jame to immediately swing back, help your mid player, find the trade. 55 seconds now, it goes down. Even further is Jame. He has a gap in the smoke. Kicker will play close. Swings on it. Death's down. Confidence flowing. It's all over the floor for VP. And Davi G? Alone. VP, did you leave confidence all over this floor? <laughs> Dude, so, no, someone get him up. Please. Someone get him up. Please. Someone get him up. Disrespectful, to be honest. I think Gekendar's got the mop. He cleaned up that last player. Yeah. 14 to 0. Trying to complete the flawless half here as we are almost done with this half of Counter Strike. And let's see if Movistar can give them something. Anything. Anything. Just a little, a little hope. A little ray of sunshine on this incredibly cloudy day for Movistar Riders. I don't even know if it would be a ray of hope or a ray of, hey, we didn't, we didn't get 50 node. We I can't mean, get 60 node. A little sigh of relief, maybe. <laughs> That the 16 0 isn't a possibility as we head into the half, but uh, it still could be for sure. Movie Star, a little bit of a split, but trying to take some mid aggression, trying to take some mid control. But Flit once again remains a nuisance for them. What are you going to do? 
They're taking that space. Smokes are good for it. There's no one in the donut, so they're going to be able to rock right up if they want to do so. And it seems like they do. Sunpei is trying to find that player, but the hail of smokes in front of him means he's not going to have the vision. Flip thought about getting cheeky. He got one he little tag to. and said, nah, maybe not. Again, it's the discipline. Even when they are stomping, VP maintains their discipline. And in mid now, smoke will come on Payas. Does he want to disrespect this? He's playing around the fringes of the smoke, seeing if someone will push deep through mid. No one's coming. Kicker will just spray away and reconfirm that that smoke's not free. Cannot just disrespect it without a risk. But Sun's going to try. But he's only a bait. B is the play. Buster is alone here. And he has the smoke to buy him more space. But it doesn't stay close. Instead, it heads its way over towards the ramp. This should delay death. But it won't contend with the players coming out from the cave. Buster's not ready. Mopaw's good on that swing. It was Davy G's flash to set up for it. So it again falls to the retake. This time, though... VP, their disadvantage. Four versus five, and Sun is still in mid. This backstab, it could be massive, but talk of backstabs. There's a flank for the other side, too. But that means only three from these back lines to retake for VP. And Alex, he's already in position to swing. Ready off his teammates' contact. He won't be contact. Instead, he'll be the first to fight. The flash is just so good. The Kinder takes him down, and the flank contended with this. Gets better now, but it's not over yet. Moby Star have to hold, and Flit still fighting. Two versus two now. Deaths, he's held his position. He's held the discipline, and he's yet to swing this. Now he comes at a fuse. It can't come no through. Time. The time is gone, and Jame, he'll try and get something a little bit more. But he'll die. 14 to 1. Movie star. At very least, they have a round at the half. Five and seven. And the thing is, it's not like the rest of his team is doing bad. No, no, they're great. No, everyone is popping off. James 13 and one, by the way. And look at those odds. One X bet does not have a lot of faith. To be in fair, the he's, he's technically 13 and two because he died to the bomb in that last round, and that didn't shh, get, shh, get zoomed shh, up in the stats. Shh, shh, technically, it was doesn't count. Half over. Doesn't count. Mm. All right. Well, what I, counts I, is his pistol round because this is the only chance a movie star has. To at least make this a bit more competitive. Alex, does he have a gap here? Little bit of one. He'll fight forward and just eats a dink. Down to one HP. VP unstoppable right. on the push forward. But Mopaz has taken one. Now the trade's there. Flit onto the IGL. And Alex down to Flit can even just keep pushing this. He can continue to pressure towards the back lines. And pressure. Oh, it's being felt. Davi G stays alive. Sun there to support. And now the trade backs are good. VP's going to be forced to fall away. Play more passive angles. But it's B250 at range. Buster oh. needs to take something before that reactionary gap gets closed. Because look at it. what's available. A smoke. It goes deep, though. Not onto the bomb. A kid as well. Sun has it. He's Kindar on the cross. He'll shut it down. Continuing to frag time. Time is an issue. Tap onto the bomb. You Kindar for two. And there's a kit. Sure. The stick, it's coming through. Jacked and cleared the wrong side. I bring back the numbers. Still, that is the guy who's had an absolute mammoth game sitting on the sidelines for at least one. Alex holds with the deagle. But VP keep this slow. They're set up for a split towards the B site, but still want to apply a little pressure out in mid. You see that split's position. Worried about the possibility of a flank here. But he'll regroup. Alex, he wants to push this. He wants to get aggressive down the ramp. I like he it. walks. And he just holds close corner. Deagle in hand. Buster now has support, so there should be a trade. If this doesn't get cleared, but Flit, ready for it. Shadow advantage, it's not enough. Alex on the floor, four to three now. Disadvantage to the CTs, and it only gets worse. Kicker to cut down one now. Cave, that's controlled in the back lines, though. Davy G, can he be a hero in this? Can he clip the wings? Knock VP down, just a single peg. 
It's feeling tough. This post plan is well set up, but Davey gets one. The HP, though, it's an issue. Still, Death's okay. fighting. Cuts it down. Even odds now, but still, the bomb is planted, and VP will group play together kit on either of these players. That's a huge issue with the time as far gone as it is, but the swing, it's great! And it's even better! Davey able to find back the trade, but it's a full 10 second defuse. There should be enough time. A 4v2! A 4v2 converted here! For Movistar, does it begin? Felt Is it beginning? Oh you it. my goodness. He said it would be goodness. quintessentially VP and... Oh. <laughs> well, they're on their way to do it. I feel a little quintessential. That was a nice retake. Yeah. I mean, I, I thought when the Deagle setup started to fall apart, it was kind of all over, but... Uh, they make it work. They I mean, honestly, some fights. Virtus Pro don't play are, together. Why are VP put it, putting themselves in positions where they can be fragged like that? Like, no. 4v2! 4v2! Come on! You said they were so disciplined in the first half. Maybe just a little, little bit. They of used the up all their discipline there. points on that CT side. Creeping in. Just the pistols in this one. Don't expect really anything. Certainly for Movistar, this should be a gimme. And Mopaz will start the party early. Alex pushes further. Again, the deep utility, the aggression, so potent on this CT side. Where's Bomb? Over towards that A site. But they're just holding for aggression. Kicker just hoping well, someone someone will come hunting, but no one is. Movistar have enough space already. Mopaz has had the lane locked down this entire round, and he'll continue to do so. Spots out Yakindar. Does this pull a rotation? No. Still two out towards A. And that should confirm the setup. Movistar will hold where they are. VP will attempt to pressure this one out towards A. So far, so good. Not a body drop. Two players to come out. And a main will not be the answer. Death's ready for them. Waiting the entire time. Death is always waiting. And he's found his mark. Still, we are going to have the investment into this round for Virtus Pro. No bomb plant there means it's, it's not great. It's not great, but it's all right. They got the guns. Very cash strapped in terms of the util. But based on the strength of the shooting so far, the guns might just be enough. They may well be. Movie star. Do they want to continue this aggression? Seems so. Out towards mid, scout to support. Oh. And all the way down goes David. I thought he was just going to try and tuck space in towards a donut. Instead, completely holds on to this control. And the nade looked like it would do a little bit more, but only takes 12 off of Flit's HP account. Mo pause. Try and spray away, but VP's fine conceding this space early. They're just seeing if someone will overaggress. Seeing if someone will give this one away. Yakindar is holding for something similar out of Mopaz. A similar push to that previous round, and he'll do it. But the smoke holds, smoke supports, and when it's not Yakindar, it's Flit just on the other side. That was so easily read. And now, man advantage. The world is VPs. Now, the interesting thing about that play as well, right, oh, what they're doing with the really aggressive play is that the antidote from the T side is to take early window control. So Mopaz's position in towards Jaguar is actually really important for, for that early aggressive mid play because if somebody gets in a window, mm -hmm, you're not getting back. You're not getting past them. Jaguar is going to be taken here. They're starting to find that space. They're starting to take that ground. There's still presence here on the B site, but you've split up the defense. It's the 2-2. Two, two. There's no one in towards mid. There's no quick and easy rotation. So as I say that, Death is starting to float to reinforce. Still going to take some time for him to do so. 35 seconds on the clock. Virtus Pro are going to be committed to this one. You would think... Unless Virtus Pro are really going to risk the clock here. 20 seconds. They're leaving themselves no spare time. They have found the soft site. They have forced the rotation. That's worked out to plan. Now they just need to eliminate Davi G, and he's found the first. They've got no time to spare for this. James has to swing, and Yekindar needs to get those numbers punched in. So now, from a place of advantage, they've instead wound up in a 2v2, and they're trying to be chased down, but Death's trying to deny the plant. Goes a little aggressive. Leaves himself without support. Now it's Alex in a 1v2. And Yekindar and Kickert on the other side are looking hungry for more kills. Hungry to find 30. Yekindar will do exactly that to seal the deal and give Virtus Pro the win. VP, I mean, they just look so excellent throughout that game. The CT side so well controlled, just as what we expect out of this squad. It's a map that previously has been kind of hit or miss, but now after the player break, they come back on in and they look excellent in their setup.